So it has been a while since I have recorded. And I'm hoping to get caught up a bit today. I want to get back to testing Rudy's pet um, video interface. I kind of hurt it. Um, I went to plug it into another one of the big flat screens and then I was getting nothing. So uh, anyway, he has sent me replacement chips. They've been here a long time and I just have been busy and distracted and so I really haven't got to it. So today is the day. Thanks for coming. Stay tuned. So here is the circuit board. And I do not believe I've done any harm to the board, but probably the two chips on it are fried. This circuit is based on one from a book called The Pet Revealed. So let's see if we can reveal something today. And here we have the replacement chips. I need to get my glasses to make sure that I don't foul this up and proceed. Well, boy, I sure did need my reading glasses for those, especially the ones coming out. My word, talk about something being black, printed on black. Anyway, I have swapped the chips. So now I will once again hook this interface up to this original old pet and 1701 or two, I think it's a 1701, and we'll see if we have things back to at least as good as they were before. It has been some weeks since I've even turned this pet on. Sounds good. Indeed. Hello, Penny. It is up. Yes, the call of the pet. Hello, Penny. Okay, I'm coming. Anyway, it does seem to be up and happy. It is time to connect it the 1701. All right, so we are connected, and it is time. Let's see what happens. I will turn on the pet. Oh, well, that is not what I expected to see at all. I see something. Oh my. Just pop that out for a second. Pop that back in. Well. Oh, now. This is also the interface that has a potentiometer on it. I'm going to turn that. Let's see what's what. And it's, I have not moved it, boy, that is not happening. All right, I'm going to turn the pet off. I'm just going to reseat everything here. Maybe I don't have everything in just so. There's also a power. power uh, thing on the cassette port, of course. Let's try that. Oh, Rudy, 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 what's going on? What have I done? What have I done? I'm going to tweak the potentiometer. Maybe I should tweak the cable. This a little shake around. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> this is not at all what I was expecting. Hi, Penny. Yes, Penny, we're having a little trouble here. And I wonder 
if in the midst of all this, I hurt something else on the interface. I'm just trying to get it somewhat stabilized. Ay, 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 ay. Pet seems fine. Although, you know, who knows? Whatever I did, maybe I heard something inside the pets as well. Um, 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 um. Hello, Penny. Yes, I see you. It is doing interesting things, this monitor is. I'm not sure how much you can see. It does seem to be getting brighter as it hits the bottom. There's that slash. Anyway, I'm not sure how much you can see there. But certainly something is not as we would like it to be. I am confused. Very confused. Oh well, I will, uh, I will ponder. Stay tuned. Other, well, I tried it on the other monitor I have sitting on top of this, which is an 1802. And it certainly doesn't look any better. It does not. And with the controls all in the back, it is not easy at all to adjust things. So I'm going to stop with this. I will get this all set up so I can share it with you and send it off to Rudy and say, okay, Rudy, what have I done? Um, anyway, my next thing that I'm working on is I'm trying to get together all the pets that I have in one place at one time to do a picture and to do a video or two talking about historical things. So I think I will proceed with that and ponder what up with this. So, thanks so much for coming. Any comments or suggestions, of course, are always welcome. Bye for now.